Hello, and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've been streaming a lot recently on Twitch, and one of my followers suggested I work through the advent of code. In this episode, I'm going to introduce what that is and the project template I'm going to be using to hack through the daily challenges. OK, first, what is the advent of code? Disregarding the mild blasphemy, the advent of code is an advent calendar of programming challenges. In December, there's two challenges per day until Christmas. These challenges are small programming puzzles that increase in difficulty as the month goes on. The challenges have been running since 2015 and are still available if you want to work through old challenges. Why do this? Good question. I'm doing it because it's fun, but you might find this useful for interview prep, learning programming, or just a good excuse to practice some problem solving. My main solutions to the problems will probably be written in Python, and if I have time, I might try some other programming languages. If you want to see me struggle through a specific programming language, comment below or let me know on stream. The first stream I tried Rust and JavaScript, and it went... okay. All right, let's jump into the project template. It's going to be pretty simple and use three main tools. Those are pre-commit, which is a Git hooks framework and code quality tool manager, MyPy, which is a type checker for Python, and PyTest, which is a unit testing tool. First is the pre-commit configuration. There's not too much to see here other than I'm including a couple of other useful tools. Pre-commit knows how to install these, so I don't have to really worry about that part. Next, we'll set up our Python environment. For this, I'll have a requirements.txt file, which contains the two dependencies that we'll need. After that, I'll use virtualm to set up and activate an environment. And then we'll run pre-commit install to make sure that the Git integration is set up properly. After that, we jump into the Python file that I'll make for each challenge. It doesn't quite fit on one slide, so we'll look at each piece separately. For the first challenge on the first day, I'll make a file called day one slash part one dot pi. The first piece is the main function. This function reads in the input data file from the challenge and calls our compute function. The compute function is where we'll eventually code up our solution. The next part of the file is the tests. This is where we'll leverage PyTest to check some inputs and outputs with our solution. In this example, I've taken the examples given by the day one part one problem. We're using PyTest parameterize to generate a bunch of tests based on these pairs of expected inputs and outputs. The last part of the file is the compute function. This is where I'll write my solution. There's also imports just because they live at the top of the file. Notice here that I've taken care to type annotate the compute function. This will ensure that MyPy checks the type safety of my implementation. And that's it. That's all the code for the template I'll be using. Now we'll see how I go about running it. This file has two main running modes. The first is the testing mode. I can invoke the file with PyTest and it will run my test cases. This is what it usually looks like before I've implemented my algorithm. Lots and lots of red. The second mode is the challenge answer mode. Here you can pass in a data file and it will compute your answer. In this example, I'm showing my answer for day one. Don't worry, everyone has a unique input, so this won't spoil or help you cheat on day one. And that's it, that's simple. I'll be hacking on these live on stream and committing them to GitHub. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash anthonywritescode or check out my GitHub solutions under the same name. I'll also be uploading explanations of my solutions to YouTube. No promises on the upload schedule, but I'll try and get them up as soon as possible. As you can tell, I'm already at least a day late. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.